Hello, I am Garrett Godfrey, and welcome to the Crowdfunding Christian Music Podcast, where I will help you find and fund the music you love. This is episode 30, recorded Thursday, August 27th of 2015. We are going to be looking at some current campaigns by Joshua James Dillard, Jason Horde, Danny Hallis, and Low Fidelity Records. Here's a secret, it's got something to do with Adam again. Plus, updates on the Craig Rigney Band and Jeff Moore. I hope you enjoy the show and find something you can fund. Okay, so before we get into the campaigns, I just want to remind you we've got timestamps for the specific campaigns in the show notes. And if you back any campaigns or you just want to help them spread the word, be sure to tweet about it, post it on Facebook, mention it to your friends in person, and spread the word. Maybe mention this show too. If you want to send me feedback, you can email me directly, feedback at crowdfundingchristianmusic.com, or you can use Twitter. I'm at the other CCM, as in crowdfunding Christian music. So, on to the campaigns. Okay, first up is Joshua James Dillard from Florida with a Kickstarter campaign to help him put out his first EP. Now, he does recording and production work himself, but for this project, he'll be going up to Nashville to work with Jeremy Casella. He doesn't have any samples of his music on this campaign page, but he does have a link to his website, and on that website, he has a link for music. So I'm going to play a little bit for you. Here we go with his track, Let Go. Here's his track, Your Will. Now, he needs to raise $2,500 for this campaign. He's $310 in, so um, that's more than 10%. He still has 26 days to go. This campaign closes September 23rd. So if you scroll down, you'll see for $5, you get updates and one song download and a sticker. For $10, you get updates, two songs and a sticker. For $25, you get video updates, the digital download of the whole EP, a physical CD, a sticker, and there are other options available as well. If this sounds like something you want to check out, the link will be in the show notes, both for the campaign page and for his website where you can hear his music. Next up is Jason Horde out of Griffin, Georgia with a Kickstarter campaign for a new album to be titled Sounds of Sunnyland. Now, Jason had been in According to John back in the day, and uh, here's a better picture from their Facebook page. He's the one on the left. And uh, he'd grown up playing bluegrass in a family band, and he's got a recording studio, very familiar with the whole uh, recording process. He actually recorded his own album back in 2011 that was a mix of bluegrass and Americana. Now he's working on this new album. Let's listen to a little bit of that first album, courtesy of Spotify. <laughs> If I ever needed you to hold me like 
you used to When we were young and wild and free Life has taken hard turns Down roads that led to fire that burns Someone told me long ago How my life would be, how it would go Never then I would believe The road that was in front of me And one last track here So that's Jason Hoard's first album. The new project is going to be titled Sounds of Sunnyland. Now for this project, he needs to raise $12,500. Now he's already got $2,000 uh, so far, and he's got 27 days left on this campaign. This, this closes September 24th. For $10, you get an early download of the album, plus the download of the Bluegrass Folk Family Band EP he's working on with his parents. For 25 you get the early download, plus you get a signed CD, and that Family Band EP download, and more. If this sounds like something you want to check out, the links will be in the show notes. Next up is Danny Hallis, a singer-songwriter from Washington, D.C., with an Indiegogo campaign for a five-song EP. Let's hear him talk a little bit about this project on his campaign video. To keep me breathing, would you keep me breathing? Would you keep me breathing? I'm moving on. My name is Danny Hallis. I'm a singer songwriter from the Washington, D.C. area. And recently I've been presented with an amazing opportunity to head down to Nashville and record with award winning producers Ed and Scott Cash. They've worked with some of the top artists in Christian music today, including Chris Tomlin, David Crowder, and Need to Breathe. This will be a solo venture for me as I look to record six songs that are birthed out of the wrestlings of life, me looking for my true identity, and the hope and redemption that I found. For me, the goal of these songs would be to spur further conversations about a great creator who pursues and saves us. Now, in order to do this, I'll need to raise $10,000. This money will be put towards all pre-production work, recording, studio musicians, mixing, and mastering. I'd like to ask that you consider supporting me in prayer and financially as I look to use the gifts that God has given me to pursue the calling of my life of sharing my story through music. Thanks so much for your consideration. I'm so excited to share updates along the way and at the very end share my story with you guys. Now, he, uh, he had some of his song Breathing on the video uh, he also had a link to his website, though, and that's got some other songs. I'm going to play a little bit more of that song, Breathing, though. I've done my time on the open road I've wondered I I've been feeling low Looking for answers in these dried up bones A one man band in a place I call home Would you keep me breathing? Would you keep me breathing? Would you keep me breathing?
Now his campaign goal is $10,000 and he's almost 10% of the way there. Um, and this campaign is, uh, is still going for another 53 days. It doesn't close until October 19th. Plus this is flexible funding, which means even if he falls short of his goal, it's not all or nothing like Kickstarter. Whatever is pledged, he's able to collect. So for $20, you would get a digital copy of this EP. For $35, you would get a CD of the EP plus, plus shipping cost. For $50, the CD is signed, and more. If this sounds like something you want to check out, the link will be in the show notes. And next up are Low Fidelity Records. Now, they don't have an active campaign page up yet, as I'm recording this on Thursday night, but their Kickstarter campaign will launch September 1st. They are going to reissue a remastered version of Adam Again's classic album, Dig, on CD and, for the first time ever, vinyl. I'm a huge fan of this band and this project, and this isn't the first time that Low Fidelity has reissued an Adam Ginn album. Back in 2002, they'd taken this uh, really hard to find 10 songs by Adam Ginn from, I think, 88, and reissued it. They kept the artwork in black and white instead of full color, but they added an extra track and it's just a, a well done project. Um, so they definitely know what they're doing and they're home to projects by um, the 77s and um, Michael Rowe and Derry Doherty and Kerosene Halo. So um, a huge fan of uh, Low Fidelity. I'm going to play some snippets of songs though from um, Adam again, just so you guys can hear some of the album dig just uh, I will also include a Spotify player in um, in the show notes so you've got that but here are a couple tracks <laughs> Sacred seal. I told a lazy lie. I've had my conscience bent. I've had my patience tried. I've been up in the desert and down by the
So um, that's Adam again. That's the Project Dig. That's going to be a campaign starting September 1st for a reissued, remastered uh, CD and vinyl. I am just so very excited about that. What would be great is if you guys checked out on the first or second, just head over to Kickstarter, do a search for Adam again or Low Fidelity, and find the campaign and check it out. And normally I like to take a look back at a campaign that has closed and provide an update. Tonight I have two, the Craig Rigney Band. I covered them a couple weeks ago back on episode 27. They have fully funded their campaign for the hymns session, Be My Glory Ever. Way to go, guys. And Jeff Moore, I covered him back a few weeks ago on episode 26, and he just fully funded his campaign as well. And there are 63 hours left as of tonight. Um, So if you're listening to this in the first couple days, you might still have a chance to uh, back that if you'd forgotten to do so. Um, So way to go. Those are all the campaigns for the week. Be sure to check out the website crowdfundingchristianmusic.com for the show notes and uh, all the links. And I'm going to try and embed a a Spotify player for um, a couple of these projects. Uh, We'll see how that goes. Uh, you can check out the uh, the brag board, which is where I'm uh, showing off the folks who have successfully funded their campaign. So I just added Jeff Moore and Craig Rigney. And uh, I also have a, a link on the side for what can I do. And that's really just a here's how to follow the podcast on Twitter. Here's how to like the podcast on Facebook. And those really make sure you can see... Um, updates and uh, and links and tweets uh, for some of these campaigns and the um, the announcements when the episodes release. You can subscribe to the podcast on YouTube if that's where you prefer to get stuff. You can interact on the on the website if you have iTunes or Stitcher. You can subscribe there and you can leave reviews. Um, so I've got detailed notes on how to leave a rating and review. Um, in uh, in iTunes as well. So, you know, if you've got some time and you want to let folks know what you think of the show, um, I'd sure like to hear. Um, let, let somebody know. Let me know. Um, that's it for the week. I want to let you know the theme song is by The X Structure. They're over at Bandcamp with all their music at Name Your Price. So the link will be in the show notes. Check it out and uh, see if, if their stuff is for you. I, I really like their music. Um, You can throw some money their way. Let them know you heard about them on this show. Um, But that's it for this week. Keep coming back. There will be more more campaigns to cover next week. In the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter at TheOtherCCM, or you can email me feedback at crowdfundingchristianmusic.com. I'm Garrett Godfrey. I'll see you next week. (laughs) Bye.